Arvest Bank is pleased to bring you the Legend Series, where we focus on individuals who are committed to their communities, much like Arvest. Now, for other inventors, not necessarily in the sound industry, but for other inventors who are thinking about starting a business, what one piece of advice would you have for somebody taking maybe even just a, a what's a what's a avocation and turning it into a vocation? Well, you have to make sure the product's right, and you need to find out who will be the end user, and pick out a couple of people, and take whatever it is, and try to find someone that would do a beta test for you, and be honest with you. Is this really good, or are you just trying to get a free lunch from me? Uh, no, you have to find out if it is a viable product, because no matter what you do today, there's going to be competition, and you have to Define that and, and make sure that the user is happy and that you've satisfied all of their needs. That's very important and it, uh, it's something a lot of companies miss today. They don't have that one-on-one -on -one with the end user. They just build it and throw it out there and hope it sells. In your about 50 year career as a business person, what was the hardest lesson you had to learn as a business person? Well, the, the, the lesson that things grew so fast, that was a biggie. And, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not a number person. And I had people in, in the company that I turned things over to them and discovered later that that wasn't right, that they were not doing the right things with my company. But the blessing that happened to me was I met Sarah again. Uh, again, fast forward that, and in 1977, I started doing a show on KMOX radio in St. Louis, talking to 44 states at night called High Tech Heil about interesting little gadgets. They, CBS would send me to the CES show and all these electronic shows and we'd go get little gadgets. And one of my fun things that I always like to talk about there is we went to this one show and they, they and we're doing this live back to the radio and I also was, ended up doing television in St. Louis on the news thing every week or so. And they gave me this little disc and on this little disc you're going to be able to put music and throw away your Norelco cassette recorder. This little disc is going to be called a compact disc. This was like a year before anybody had ever seen it. And that's what was so neat about the show is that I would be able to see things that were a year or two away. We're talking cell phones and even some of the computers, all that kind of great stuff. When Sarah's mother, uh, her, her dad passed away, so her mother moved back here to Sarah's grandfather's house, actually. And uh, in 1997, uh, actually, we got together late 96, but her mother was trying to listen to KMOX from down here. And she tried all kinds of radios. That didn't work. And then she wanted to buy a camcorder because Sarah's son was starting Drury. And they went to, to a store and they got so confused because nobody really could help them. She said, her mom said, you just call Bob Heil, he's on the radio, I listen to him every week. So she called me and she said, you probably won't remember me, but I'm Sarah Benton. And my first words to her that she ever heard was, do you still have your red hair? Because I remember <laughs> she's just a little carrot top at six. We got together uh, two weeks before Christmas of 96, so we have never been apart. She's an incredibly brilliant gal. She's got uh, uh, two degrees and she's just wonderful. And when we, she started looking into my business then after we got married and she said, uh, this something's not right. And she found out was not right and uh, cleaned house and that's. Like the individuals highlighted in the Legend series, our best bank is committed to our community. Click on the link below to find out ways that you can engage with us to help make Springfield great.